Experts are now claiming the power of bird shit. The nitrogenous white excretions have overwhelmed the Indian Point nuclear power plant. Are these people out of your mind? <laughs> bird poop apparently caused a New York nuclear reactor outage. Bird poop was likely the cause of December shutdown at a nuclear power plant outside of New York City. According to the operator, an Indian Point reactor safety shutdown for three days starting on December 14, following an electrical disturbance on the outage of a high voltage transmission line. Entergy Corp said an outside expert is analyzing whether what's technically called bird streaming was the culprit. In a report to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission last month, the New Orleans based company said the automatic reactor shutdown was apparently from bird excrement that caused an electrical arc between wires on a feeder line at a transmission tower. If it has nowhere to send its electricity, the generator senses that it automatically shuts down, Entergy spokesman Jerry Neppy said. Plant manager told the NRC they were revising preventive maintenance for additional inspection and cleaning and installing bird guards on transmission towers. Nappy said he couldn't recall a similar incident in the past several years, from birds at Indian Point, which is located along the Hudson River north of New York City. He didn't immediately know what type of bird was suspected. No carcass was found, he said. The birds are on the loose. They got an APB on these birds at Nuclear Point, Indian Point. Nuclear Regulatory Commission spokesman Elliot Brenner says it's not uncommon for wildlife to trigger electrical outages on transmission lines regardless of the generation source of the electricity. Squirrels are the biggest offenders, he said. He didn't know if the NRC was specifically tracking animal-related reactor outages. They're kind of few and far between, but certainly not unheard of, he said. Shocking number of cancers around leaking nuclear power plant near New York City. Tens of thousands of cases have been recently reported, more than anywhere else in the United States. Why is the story not being covered by everybody? Teacher, I can't believe the number of teachers who have gotten cancer. Vicki Fox, teacher, social studies at Lakeland Cooper Beach Middle School in Yorktown Heights, less than 10 miles from Indian Point. My name is Vicki Fox. I'm a middle school teacher at a school that is just a few miles from Indian Point. I really can't tell you how many teachers and students I've met there over the years who are survivors of cancer, specifically thyroid cancer. I was talking about this to a woman who was an aide. She said, oh, do you know that I had thyroid cancer? She's just another. This year again, I'm working with somebody who has thyroid cancer. One of my students this year. He had cancer in his optic nerve and almost blind. As I said, I can't believe the number of teachers who have gotten cancer and I think it's because they live in this area. Indian Point, we are flirting with catastrophe. Reporter, it's an alarming story and I thought of it as an alarming story ever since I started researching it because there are some things that people generally don't know. It gives me a feeling of why is this story not being covered by anybody. So I want there to be Indian Point and of course have been told by the company running it that it's safe. That the latest leak has been contained and that there is nothing to worry about. But then I got to meet people who used to live in the area and they said that they had cancer. Thyroid cancer which is the big shocker for me. And since again it's been grossly understated in the United States or even more so. People would just laugh at the suggestion that a nuclear plant operating 25 miles from New York City can cause cancer. So this was the biggest shocker. Hosts. 
if you got a bunch of thyroid cancers around or downwind of any point, that means that they've been venting radioactive gases, reporter. That's the way any nuclear plant in the world operates. It emits radiation, whether it's large doses in case of a leak or small doses, but it does emit anyways. It's just the way it operates. I come from part of the world where Chernobyl happened. It's been taught in schools that thyroid cancer is caused by radiation. You have people in the area of Indian Point in masses, 20,000 people diagnosed with cancer over 15 years. That's more than anywhere else in the United States.